Welcome to the Bookmap Platform Details webinar. Uh, we'll go through um, many of the uh, features in Bookmap and what exactly Bookmap is showing you, uh, and um, uh, and and some of the, the the features and questions that you're going to have about the uh, about the software. All right. So let's start off with the risk disclaimer: trading futures uh, and equities involve substantial risk of loss. It's not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not indicative of future results. Uh, for more information, you go to bookmap.com, become a member there. You have access to free resources and uh, support at bookmap.com is where you can uh, find us. Okay, so um, let's see here. The uh, uh, Here's bookmap.com. Uh, click on explore. There's a few intro videos here I would uh, recommend if you're new here. Um, and then uh, let's click on the pricing tab because I want to show you where you can find Bookmap. Okay, so you get a 14-day trial period with Bookmap. It's free, uh, and um, uh, this is where you can find it. So just uh, click on the subscribe button here. Okay, so you can see there's two. There's basically only two versions of Bookmap: Bookmap Basic, Bookmap Advanced. And the difference between the two are the add-ons and the ability to trade from the chart. Okay, now the Bookmap Basic and Advanced with the DX feed is a package, uh, and the DX feed is only for U.S. equities. Okay, it does, it's not for futures data. Uh, you will need your um, your own data provider with the Basic and Advanced. Now, if you're interested in DX feed, you don't need to get the the um, uh, package deal here. You can add it as an add-on uh, for the Basic or Advanced here as well. Okay, uh, and then. Um, let me show you some of the resources here. Uh, you can go to uh, our Twitter at, uh, at bookmap underscore pro. Uh, and then um, uh, you get the latest and most up-to-date information here. Uh, and then our YouTube page, okay? So uh, for those of you who are new, uh, watch the intro video here. And then watch some of the features and components here. There's a playlist. All right, and then uh, I would recommend watching a few of these. Don't go crazy with them uh, yet. Uh, wait until you're in trial and uh, and start to understand some of the uh, features, maybe, um, or what Bookmap is showing you, uh, or or maybe maybe you want to watch these. It's it's fine. They're available here. They this is basically what we go through in the advanced webinars uh, that will start in uh, in about 20 minutes, 22 minutes or so. Um, and uh, we, we this so the platform uh, details is about going through the platform uh, and then the uh, advanced uh, analysis webinar uh, is for those in trial or those that are current customers uh, so that they understand what they're looking at in bookmap they've moved beyond uh, some of the uh, platform details okay uh, there's an educational course we put together here uh, and then um, uh, all of the uh, recorded webinars are here so you can see yesterday's here uh, if you want to access it. All right. So let's jump into Bookmap. And what are we looking at? Okay. Um, let's see. So for those of you who are new, uh, we start off uh, going through it like this. We turn off all the data. Okay. And we are looking here at a five-minute candlestick chart. Okay. And this is the S&P. Uh, e mini. All right, we had some volatility yesterday. Uh, good to see. Uh, and um, uh, so here's the uh, five minute candlestick, uh, and you can see the uh, uh, 930 open, and you can start to see some of the uh, elongated uh, candles, a little more volatility coming in, a lot more volume, as you can see in the sub chart here. All right. Um, so, uh, you know, the candlestick uh, chart here is uh, is showing you limited data. Uh, there's a lot more in the chart, and that, that's the problem with the candlesticks. For example, uh, where's the volume taking place? Okay, uh, we we don't we don't know. Uh, we have it in the sub chart. Uh, we know that there was volume down here, but we don't know where it took place. We don't know how much, uh, and uh, within what uh, time period, and where on this candlestick, and what type. Um, it was it uh, aggressive buying or selling? And that is crucial data. Uh, that gives us a lot of insight to these kinds of moves. Okay, so let's start to layer on uh, some of the uh, data here and information. Okay, now all I've added here is the historical best bid and offer. Okay, uh, that's the red and uh, and green line. In fact, you can see the live window here. 
And this is the current best bid and offer. And this number here is the last traded volume on the best bidder offer. All right. And uh, it's just recorded. So we can see it in the candlestick. So let's take a look at this little area here. And uh, and you can start to see already, this is what uh, I, I like about the looking at historical best bid and offer, is already you see some transparency here. Uh, already it's it's quite nice. Uh, look at this little microstructure here. Here's the low, and then we see a immediate move back up, okay? A little bit of sideways action in the microstructure. And, uh, and look at the retest here, right? After this five minute period, okay? The new period here, okay? We don't even get to the low. We don't, and we certainly don't get to the, the low of the cash session, okay? This is starting to show uh, something significant and, and starting to show the reversal, okay? That is lost in that candlestick. I mean, you just see the big wick, all right? And that's it. Uh, and, uh, but now we're starting to understand that there's going to be volume on this historical best bid and offer, and it's going to give us a lot of insight here. So let's turn on the volume dots, okay? And here we go, okay? We can see... Uh, uh, the, uh, the dots here, uh, the red is aggressive market sell orders. Okay. They took liquidity off of the best bid. Uh, and the green dots are, um, it's a, a market buy. Someone hit the market buy button, crossed the spread and took liquidity off of the best offer. So if I, uh, click on the hand tool and zoom in here, let's just do that quickly. Okay, and you can see I'm breaking apart all that information, and these pie displays start to break down into individual uh, singular events. Okay, and we we've recorded every single event here in Bookmap. Now this little section here gives you the uh, insight to the aggressive market buys and what it looks like here. Okay, this is uh, these little green dots here. Uh, it's uh, someone crossed the spread, hit the market buy, and then took liquidity off of the best offer. Okay, market sell, they take liquidity off of the best bid, and that's how it works. All right, um, and uh, you can continue to zoom in here, uh, and we can really zoom into uh, millisecond uh, and uh, uh, microsecond, even nanosecond levels, uh, and notice how I'm splitting apart every single event, right? Uh, and um, uh, that's all recorded here, okay? Now, as I start to zoom back out, and get a bigger picture perspective, note how as these, these dots visually uh, will aggregate, okay? All the data is still here. It's just that it's showing it visually aggregated. And at one point, it becomes, there's so many trades in, in one little area that we have to display it as a pie, a pie chart. So we know that the majority of, there's both buying and selling here, but the majority of it was selling, okay? And this is going to be some really nice trap volume down here because we never come back toward it. In fact, look at the initiated buying right here, and we don't even get a pullback to where we broke from. Actually, we do get a little bit of a pullback here, just one tick away from it, and then uh, we get our reversal. Okay, You're going to start to see this pattern a lot, and um, an insight to this pattern uh, is... Um, uh, how, however you want to play it, uh, but uh, we're starting to identify a shift in the order flow here, right? And this is how Bookmap can really help you, all right? It gives you that, it gives you that transparency, and we're, we're just looking at the traded volume right now, okay? We, we're not looking at um, uh, uh, another uh, uh, piece of, of important data yet. All right. So anyway, that's the traded volume. Uh, and uh, it works very much like a, uh, in a foot, footprint chart, for example, uh, except that the footprint chart, uh, let's just say you're looking at a, a five minute period of a footprint chart. Well, you're, you're still not going to see this data here. This, this data is going to be lost. Okay. Uh, you may see it in a one minute footprint chart, uh, but um, uh, you, you know, in, in, in book map, uh, because we don't aggregate the data uh, within a time period. It's just every single event is recorded, okay? And it's not event exclusive. Uh, the, um, uh, we can drill into the nanosecond level if we want, uh, but um, uh, we just have time. Uh, it's all recorded, uh, and each event that takes place is then recorded. Okay, so for those of you trading uh, automatically, like uh, with uh, automated strategies, then you're going to really be able to see the details of what occurred in the market. 
uh, and how your algo is performing in that market. All right. So anyway, that's the traded volume. Uh, and uh, that's how Bookmap solves that issue of, uh, of showing you what type of volume, where it took place, uh, and, uh, and how much. Okay. And tremendous insight. Uh, because uh, this is all trapped here. Where are these guys going to cover? Probably up here. And uh, where do we go to? Right, right to it. Okay. So, and you can see it sold off since. All right. So, pretty wicked move. Uh, we see it all the time. All right. Um, anyway, uh, let's uh, let's move on here and uh, and let's go to the current market. Okay. Now, looking at the current market. Um, you know, we want insight to uh, uh, where traders are lined up to bid and offer, okay? And uh, we can see that in a dome, okay? And that's what you're looking at here in these columns. In fact, let me hide this one. Um, and these these columns that you have here, uh, the COB column here, this is your, uh, your dome, okay? Um, and um, uh, you can see the, uh, just like any other dome that's out there, you can see the, uh, uh, the, uh, best bid and offer right here, and you see up to this white line. This is the depth here uh, on the um, on the offer. And this is the depth here on the bid. Okay. Now, this is great information. We can see where traders are lining up within the depth of market and level two data uh, to trade. This is this is where they 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 want to provide liquidity and trade, uh, and uh, and that's really insightful. Uh, however, there's a problem with this in a, in a dome is these numbers change and then what was there previously is, is lost and you have no clue. Uh, you're going to have to remember it. Uh, you're going to have to watch it. You're going to have to remember it. You're going to have to remember the areas around it. Uh, and what if it happened like an hour ago, you know, and we're revisiting that price again? Well, you have no clue what it was like there before. Okay. This is where Bookmap solves that issue. Uh, we turn this data into a heat map, and it will be presented here within this window. Okay, so let's turn it on. All right, and there it is. Okay, so uh, immediately we know with the graphical representation in the heat map where these areas of high liquidity are. Okay, up here, 1,490 contracts at, at 24.69. That's the highest area in the book currently. All right. Uh, and uh, we can adjust for that heat map here, okay, and um, brighten it up, uh, get a little more detail and data in here uh, that uh, uh, if you want, okay, I'm just, this is just for the demo. I, I do not use a view like this, uh, but uh, now we can see that uh, next, next couple levels here uh, at 66 and 65, uh, there's higher liquidity there because it's brighter in the heat map. Now notice how the the heat map's always changing in in the uh, grayscale. Okay, it is reflecting the liquidity here that's changing uh, in the uh, limit order book. Okay, so we can notice notice the um, uh, that they were just in coming in at 67 with high liquidity, and then they pulled it, and then they added it back in, and we see this this heat map change. Okay, where this gets interesting uh, is that uh, we take this data here. And we record it and plot it onto the chart. Okay, so let me zoom in a little bit here. And here's that recording of what we just saw play out at 67. Okay, notice these little striations right in here. Okay, that is them adding and pulling that liquidity that we saw. Okay, now that number changed, and now you have a recording of that, and you understand that this is where they were previously. And uh, they may show interest yet again there. Uh, you can also very easily and quickly see the areas around it, how they're behaving. Okay. And then you can also very easily see uh, where they are on the bid. Okay. So it looks like to me that these guys are, are skewing the book, trying to drive price probably down into this higher liquidity uh, at 65 and maybe 64. Okay. And uh, now we'll get into maybe reading the uh, uh, the limit order book and the auction here um, a, a bit uh, during these webinars, but this is more for the um, uh, for the advanced uh, the advanced webinars. Okay, like one one insight here, um, very easy to see. Notice this guy here at with high liquidity at 67, and he pulls it, and he probably it's probably the same guy 
a really high probability, and he adds it uh, two ticks lower. Okay, so and you can understand that um, uh, you know this is one player, and you start to understand how he's playing uh, in the game here. Okay, does he have that intent to trade? Well, we we don't really quite know yet until he get, he gets tested. Okay, until until price comes up toward him. Now price is actually doing that right now. It's one tick away, and we can see him pulling. Okay, so is did he really want to trade here? And I would guess no, he does not. Uh, you know, he's actually looking uh, to maybe do something else. Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, maybe push price down into some of these areas. Okay, uh, but um, uh, gauging that intent uh, to trade is what's important here. Uh, we want to filter out the information of those that want to trade and those that do not. Uh, and you can do that here uh, in Bookmap. All right. So uh, now you've got a complete picture of uh, the um, uh, the, uh, the not only the uh, the tape, the order flow, uh, but the auction. Okay. And uh, let's uh, let's adjust this heat map a bit. Okay. It's just uh, way too bright uh, for me. Okay. Okay. And this is uh, this is getting up there. There. Uh, look, that looks a little bit better. I like to see a little detail uh, in it. Okay, so let's go back and revisit this area here. And what did that auction look like? Okay. Okay. Well, here here it is. Well, notice how um, there is high liquidity here. Okay, and this is this is high liquidity that was here previously okay, in the book. Uh, and uh, they started a pull here, but then they started to add back in as price is coming down. These guys here have the intent to trade, okay, and so do these guys here. There, and we can see large volume trading. Uh, so these these longer term players here uh, are starting to absorb price uh, or selling uh, that's uh, hitting the bid in these areas here. Okay, so now we're starting to put together a lot of different pieces, understanding longer term liquidity understanding that uh, it's getting filled in some of these areas uh, and then look at them down at, at 59 here uh, and they never even get tested here okay now they're kind of adding and pulling here uh, at 59 so their intent to trade at this area is kind of dubious but they're they're definitely down lower uh, 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 and you can see it's larger players that uh, they're on the figure of e each each whole number here right uh, but um, th at, at this point um, uh, they'd had enough, and uh, we see the initiated buying here, pull price up out, and then test the liquidity on the other side here, uh, where sellers are lined up, and uh, and they're getting filled. Okay. All right. Okay. So um, uh, you can see now we're, we're we have the a, a complete picture, uh, and uh, that that dome, which is good to show the current market. But to show that historical evolution of the of the of the uh, market in the in the auction, it's going to give you a lot more insight. All right. Okay. So look at that coming up into these areas up here, higher liquidity. Um, some of it's getting pulled. Some of it's some of it's trading though, as we we can see it. And um, you know they're providing liquidity up in these areas here because the larger players know that uh, they can get filled up here because whoever whoever um, uh, uh, sold down here is going to be, you know, placing their stops up here, and there will be liquidity. That means that the larger players can get their uh, uh, fill uh, in some of those areas. All right, and since that action, well, we've just really kind of gone sideways. No, I'm sorry. No, we we are still we're still bullish here. Uh, we we came up and tested the high and made new highs here. And we see a nice uh, chunk of uh, uh, volume trading up here too. Okay. All right. Any questions? Okay. I know that there's a lot of information, uh, but it's actually really pretty straightforward and simple to be to be very honest. It's very objective information. Uh, you can uh, uh, basically uh, understand exactly what's happening in the market 
uh, you know, seeing that complete picture here of not only the, the traded volume, uh, but uh, where they're lined up. Okay. Now, what's interesting about this is it's, it's not an indicator, uh, and it's not a strategy. Uh, Bookmap is a platform, uh, and uh, we're just very objectively showing you uh, the, what's going on in the marketplace okay, by recording and plotting uh, important data. All right, so it offers a lot of transparency uh, into, the, uh, into the marketplace. Okay, so let me let me actually show you something that I saw yesterday, uh, and uh, maybe this guy this will be helpful for you guys. Okay, all right. So here here's just I just have two data points on in this image here. Let me show this. Okay, so this was uh, just a candlestick, and I have the auction. Okay, the historical auction. Now the point of this was to show not what's going on within the candlesticks. Okay, this is the S&P yesterday, uh, and um, uh, the point was to show how important the limit order book information really is. Okay, look at the stacked orders here. Very high liquidity. You know, we're in like you know two thousands, uh, thousands of contracts here, not just um, in the single thousands and you know the multiple thousands and uh, very high liquidity and and a very thick zone here okay price actually started moving here within this area right here because this would be the historical best bid and offer and look at the volume subchart I I don't even have the volume dots on here okay but volume really didn't kind of pick up until later okay this gave you insight of what was going on outside of that candlestick chart Okay, and um, uh, giving you uh, insight uh, before this big move took place, just by understanding the limit order book and the auction skew here that you can see. Okay, so that's uh, uh, how this can uh, be helpful for you. All right. Okay. Now, we also have uh, other columns here uh, to show you uh, a volume uh, within a profile, okay? We have a, the current or the uh, chart range volume profile and a session range volume profile. This is all of the volume since when I opened up my book map in the session range volume profile. Now, the chart range volume profile, you see I have numbers and I have a, a graphical representation of it, but this is representing all the volume within this viewable chart range. Okay, so if I zoom in, note how uh, it's giving me the uh, the profile here for this range. Okay, we have a, a lots of different data types here. If I right click in the column, uh, we have um, uh, the current order book columns that you can see here, volume columns, a trade counter columns, a quote, quotes counter column, um, uh, quotes delta, okay, added and pulled liquidity, notes, and then also time and sales. Okay. We also have an indicator panel at, at the bottom here, uh, and this is actually this is plotting the uh, cumulative volume delta. Okay, a lot of traders look at that; uh, they want to understand the cumulative uh, uh, volume uh, within some of these areas uh, in combination with uh, the uh, uh, understanding of the of the volume columns and the volume uh, where it's trading. All right, so we uh, we we have that as well. Um, and um, uh, we also have some automated strategies that are available uh, here, okay? And uh, we have chase, escape, and execute strategies, uh, and uh, they work on your limit orders. Okay, it's an API. So basically, uh, for those of you who are coders, uh, you can you can write your own strategies here in Bookmap. Okay, the uh, you can also trade right from the chart. Okay, we have one-click trading. Uh, that's available, and uh, I can uh, uh, select uh, order and uh, uh, order size here. I have uh, OCO orders, I have bracketed orders, I have a trailing stop as well, uh, and um, I can click on some of these areas. Okay, actually, looks like it might be. Let me select all of this. Okay, and let's close that. 
Okay, and enable it. Okay, so you can see I'm click, clicking here, and I'm, uh, uh, these are limit orders uh, here on the bid. Okay, I can move them around, uh, left click, hold, and drag, uh, and uh, or I can you know hold down Control key and move them all together as well. Okay, and uh, and then if I uh, right click here, I can also set some orders uh, on the uh, uh, on the offer. Okay, I can also set market orders uh, and, uh, and and market uh, buy and sell stops. Okay, I'm going to cancel everything and let's uh, close this up. All right, well that's uh, that's everything, and uh, I don't really see any any questions here. Um, so uh, uh, for those of you who are uh, uh, currently in trial. Um, or uh, or a current customer of Bookmap, I'll, I'll see you uh, in the um, uh, advanced analysis webinar and uh, jump right over there and uh, start the webinar. Okay. All right. Thanks, guys. See you tomorrow.